All right, here we're going to look at a few quick examples related to P-series. So remember, a P-series is a series of the form, you know, 1 to infinity. It doesn't have to start at 1, but to infinity of 1 over n to the P. Again, this series converges if P is greater than 1, and it diverges if P is less than or equal to 1. And again, you just justify this using the integral test. So, all right, a couple kind of easy questions. Um, so the following, uh, we're going to figure out if they converge or diverge. So for part A, you know, we've got 1 over n to the 1.4. Well, since our power p is greater than 1, uh, our series, uh, our first series would simply converge. So, ta-da, easy enough. So part B, you know, in this case, we've got n equals 1 to infinity of, well, uh, n raised to the 0 0.7. Well, 0 0.7 is certainly less than 1, and I should say less than or equal to 1. So in this case, our series diverges. It's a, it's a divergent P-series. And last but not least, we have 1, uh, one plus 1 over uh, 2 times the cube root of 2, plus 1 over 3 times the cube root of 3, plus 1 over 4 times the cube root of 4. Well, I think we could write this... Uh, using some series notation. Notice we could even write the first one as 1 over 1 times the cube root of 1. Um, so it, everything follows this little pattern. So to me, the stuff that's changing is our, you know, the numbers out front. So I'm just going to represent that with an n. And then we also have uh, that exact same number that's uh, appearing underneath the radical. So to me, it looks like we, could, we, we can write this series as 1 over uh, the cube root of n from n equals 1 to infinity. Well, this is just the series. So we've got n times n to the 1 third. This is going to give us n to the 4 thirds power. Uh, and since our power in this case, since uh, 4 thirds is greater than 1, in this case, again, we would have a convergent p-series. These uh, p-series are super useful because soon we're going to start talking about the direct comparison and uh, limit comparison test. And you use p-series a lot of times. They're, they're very useful uh, series. You can use p-series to justify um, whether or not other series converge or diverge. So definitely we'll be seeing a fair amount of this p-series stuff. So uh, just make sure you kind of commit this little rule to memory. Or again, if you forget it even, you know, just the main thing is to know that it comes from the integral test.